Okay, so we're ready for assembly now. So as far as tools, I have a drill, I have my screws, I use a couple clamps. I use this. This is just the 12 inch long metal rule out of a combination square. That's because that's 12 inches off of here is the height. Uh, the, the height difference I've found seems to be about the best for the, the height in between the benches and under here so this is just rather than trying to tape measure it this works well because it just sits on it and then I also use a brad nailer now you don't have to use a brad nailer but I'll show you what I use it for and when I was cutting everything up this is the one thing I didn't show these are just the same 10 inch like the feet and they're just I saved a bunch of scraps and I cut like two boxes full and I'm starting to get low now and just set the fence up on the table saw and just cut a 45 so that just kind of dresses these feet up so we could screw that down now if you wanted but uh, I'm gonna prep these these uh, legs here real quick so in order to prep these legs all the more I do is I center this you know and this is a, a live edge table so this one you could measure if you wanted But like you'll see when we do this under piece, nothing's really straight on here. So there's a fair amount of eyeballing that you have to do. So I run a couple screws through it like that. Then I can stand it up. I put this piece right here like that I line it up and then I just shoot some brads in then we turn it around So then I obviously have to do that on the other three legs. So I'll just uh, move forward and I'll do that off camera. So the I shoot about three screws into those. Um, I do eight here. You know, this is what holds the leg assembly in the bottom half, you know, all of that to the top. So you want this real good. So this is where you want these out near the end because the legs are going to screw into this inside so if you get it too narrow someone sits on the end it wants to tip up um, so you want it out here near the end not necessarily on the end but you know I go I don't know six inches or so in but then getting this straight you know this isn't straight those aren't equal so it's just kind of an eyeball deal and then I'll shoot one in like that make sure it still looks good and do the other corner then I'll just go through put the other six in Now we need to attach a leg. So that's why I wanted to get one leg all ready to go. They are a whole lot easier to put together before they're up on it. So here, let's let's try something different here. You want Okay, to so I'm going to get this out here until it's more or less as far out as it can go because that keeps it to where if two people sit on one side it doesn't tip over so you want your legs out here a ways and then uh, we'll shoot a couple screws in this way 
like that. Once you get that one in, it'll hold. So I'm going to do like three that way. Then I'll bring one up high here. And I shoot that down in at an angle. And then I'll come around to this side. And I'll shoot a couple through this way. And at this point, the leg's still going to be a little bit wiggly. But once we get the two by sixes on it here and the bracing, that'll firm right up. So that'll be it for this. I'll uh, take care of the other four legs and I'll bring you back in when uh, we start putting, attaching the two by sixes here. We need to put one of these up and I did remember I need uh, this one you kind of want to tape measure it doesn't have to be a precision measurement but you want about the same amount of overhang so I got 25 there I only got 20 so we'll go to about there so here's where the clamps and it really helps to have help here so I want you to pick this board up just straight up like that now down so that's sitting on top of that so now I can clamp that real quick you can let go now and then I can bring it over here and there was no big change here but uh, if there was you might be a little little bit off this one was still off a little So that's on there there and then they they look roughly even close enough these will be trimmed according to the benches so we can always give that a double check about 19 18 and a half so you'll see when we get to the other ones you can't really do this with them but I put screws in from both sides on this one because the outside one's not there yet so I'll put one on either side or two in from either side the clamp can go now So now we can put our brace in here and then we'll just need to do the same over there. And this other two by six, I don't put on there until I've set the benches down and trimmed this one. I'll then uh, screw the benches down and I just hold the other one up against it and mark it and then cut it and screw it down. So they're the last two that actually go on. But now we can do this, this brace here. So just real simple put it in there then I shoot three in down here these ones you got to be careful that you want to put a pretty sharp angle or they'll poke through So I'll put two in here and I like to come around to the other side and I'll shoot two in straight down the length of it. See now that we've done that, I cannot move that leg. That leg is solid, solid. So we're good to go there. So. 
Now I just need to do the same thing over here and then we will stain the whole bottom side of it and then flip it over, trim these ones, set the benches on, mark these, trim these, screw the benches down and then add the other two by sixes and stain all the top half stuff. So that's what we got for this step. So I will get this other one put on and show you that when we get there. So basically for the benches, I set those down and I sit on them until I feel like I'm about the right distance. Then I just take a pencil and I mark either end. And I actually still need to paint the bottom of this. And then we can set that up there. Now I got my mark on top. And then I just take, mark myself a 45 right there. And then I do the same thing here. Then I take the skill saw. Cut that 45 off. And toss that out of the way. So, now I'll come get my stain real quick. Here's the first thing I want to do. So I'll stain the fresh cut ends. And then I've actually forgot. I need to, I can do the rest of it later. But be a whole lot easier to stain this bottom side when it's off. So then what I use is this stuff called Ready Seal. Natural cedar. And of all the stuff I've used and tried, this is by far my favorite. So now we got that painted up, so we can get this and we just kind of even it up with our cuts right there. And then there will be four screws per two by six. So I like to shoot one in on either end. So if I bump into it, it's not an issue. This outside one, I usually shoot in at a slight angle because of that 45 cut. And there we go. That's what we do with those. And I'll get the other one on there. And then I'll show you how I do that outside two by six. Okay, so I got both benches on. So I'll show you how I do this with this one. I just simply hold it up here. And I make a mark at the edge of the benches. Like that. Then you just want to keep in mind, you know, which way your 45 needs to go. It needs to go back in. And I just bring it over here to the chop saw. Oh, that one, that one wanted to bind up. OK, 
okay so there's that but then just kind of like we did before this is going to be a whole lot easier to paint stain I say paint but we're staining it right now so I'll move my screws over here and I'll stain this up real quick then we'll screw it on there and as I'm sure you can see we still need to stain the the top and the benches but this end grain soaks up quite a bit of this And I have a couple clamps here, so if I feel I need it, I'll clamp it, or typically I can just hold them one-handed and get a screw started. So there we go. There's that stained up. Now I just have to get down in here and that one's good that one's good then I can shove a screw shoot one here and that should hold it but we'll get this one started and make sure and hold up on it Now each one of these will get four screws in them. So And then this gets four screws just like the other one did down into this two by six so I'm just put this one at a slight angle come over and do this one now I like doing the front one then I'm just filling it here then I do the back one then it just makes it easier for me to do the middle two so I know that two by six is running right in between them right so that's what we do there and the reason I started adding the second 2x6 in here is one of the first tables I built had just one and I think I was actually re-sanding it because I tried just planing that one but I stood on the very end of it and it was that was enough leverage it ripped out on that end so with two of them you don't get that fulcrum effect but I will get that other one cut screwed on there We'll get the table completely stained and then we'll bring you back in at that point so you can see the finished product. So here is the finished product. So it's all stained up. Um, the stain's still obviously damp, but uh, that's it right there. All Western Red Cedar, 100%. Total of eight true two by sixes that were six plus feet long and then the top there is about two and three quarters is what I think it finished at um, and the benches are two so that's it right there and just a special thanks to my wife she was a super big help on this one 
She did a lot of sanding and helped a lot with the staining. So I just want to say thank you.